join the team. Hey team, this is McGuire Review, and today we're going to take a look at another product out of Paizo that has been recently released. This particular one is a Starfinder uh, book, and we're going to talk about this here in a second. There is going to be another video that I'm going to do on some new kind of accessories. Uh, one of these we've already talked about. Uh, the other three are brand new as well, and I want to do a video just to kind of hit what some of these things are. Today, quickly, and normally I wouldn't do uh, a full video on just a single one of their Adventure Path, Path books, but I really think this particular story is, is something very special, and I'm going to have to be careful that I don't uh, give away too much, but I do have to give away enough so you understand why this particular storyline uh the this one here being called the the drift crashers and Adve adventure path um is so special and this is the perfect storm so it is the first one in the multi-part series and they do these adventures sometimes they're six books sometimes there's three books there sometimes it's just one larger uh, in these adventure paths that make up kind of like you could say mini campaigns. This one here is really the first. It's designed for uh, level one to level two. So you're going to be a level one, level two, more than likely a level two by the time you're done with this book and this story. And then you can kind of level up as you go through the, uh, the other ones as they're released uh, through time. And through time and space is a good segue to what Drift Crashers is all about. Now, the the premise of this one, and, and one of the things that makes it kind of cool that I'll tell you, and I think this is anything that you would just get as you sat down to the table from a DM kind of describing, overarching what's going to happen in this campaign. Essentially, you really get it all in this one, and I think that's what makes it really cool. You're on this ship, and you're being, we'll just say semi, you have a confrontation with another ship, and these two ships uh, go into the drift. And the drift is essentially, um, we'll just say, is a technology or a way to travel far distances over a very short period of time. It's a way to travel faster than the speed of light is the drift. There's also the maelstrom, but um, this is this is focusing on, on the drift. And two ships kind of, we'll say, get into a, an issue with the drift and kind of merge together and create a, a new type of ship. So that's one thing that I think is awesome about this is that you get this new new starship that's very, very unique uh, in style and approach. And then you would could only imagine that you have to kind of deal with, okay, what would happen if two of these ships got smashed together and, and created a, a, a new thing? And then the, the crews from each of these ships and you know, are they enemies? Are they not? And what do you have to deal with in that kind of scenario? And then as well as sort of barreling through the drift, and it's like, where are you going to show up? And one of the places that you first show up in this adventure is what I think makes this so unique. And it is a very different place than you would expect you would be popping out in and an environment that you have to kind of deal with. Um, and I, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm not gonna just, I, I, I hope, I'm not gonna say, I, yeah, I'm not gonna say what it is of where you pop out, but that's what really makes this, I think, particular adventure so unique because it kind of has it all. You've got very unique um, places that you're gonna be interacting with and in situations that you're gonna have to deal with as players. And it just throws you right in from the very beginning. There's not a lot of setup. There's not a lot of messing around. It's, okay, you're on this ship, and all of a sudden, boom, you, you've got a massive problem that you need to deal with. And you need to navigate the things that are going on on that ship to even start off with. And then all of a sudden, you're in this other type of environment. You've got to deal with that, which is, I think, very something very different for the Starfinder world. Or IP, and then all of a sudden, now you are in other areas and that you have to you have to deal with and 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 problem solve. So, I just love this particular story uh, and adventure path line. It it is it's one of these that I would highly recommend that if you do play Starfinder, you definitely pick up this the series that's going to be 
that's going to be here with this one. I think it's going to be one that your your table is really going to enjoy. I think if you're new to Starfinder and you're thinking about getting into Starfinder, this may be one of those like really fun. You know, if you as a DM have been wanting to get into Starfinder, but you just you don't know how to grab the table, you don't know how. Uh, maybe your players aren't really in. They're they're more from the Pathfinder IP. Uh, they like more of the fantasy adventure. They're not really into the the space or the technology side. This one, I think, is going to bridge some gaps. And I think this one's going to be one that I just don't know how a table could come away from session one and be like... What? Like... That was awesome. Like one thing I do want to correct, and I'll, I'll put a uh, I'll put a note on the screen a little bit earlier, but I do want to say it uh, verbally in the in the video as well. Um, I th I I thought, and all the way up until this point, I always thought it was uh, level one and two, but it does indicate right here that you will go all the way to third level uh, by the end of the chapter three. Uh, adventure. So there are like three chapters that these books, well, generally th this one is broken into three chapters. And then you'll, you'll also get some other things, adventure toolbox and uh, the stat blocks of enemies and whatnot that you would run into. But there are three full chapters um, that are in here. And um, I won't really go anything more into what those those chapters entail and all the things you're going to get into. Well, another thing that I love about these um, that I really noticed was done well in this one was within those chapters, there are like um, al almost like story point, not necessarily, you could look at them as story point hooks, but it's almost like, okay, here's the first event, here's the second event, here's the third event, here's the fourth event. And I really like how that kind of steps you through as a DM on, you know, Here's the event. You can throw it out to the players and let them let them mull it over, let them deal with it. But then you can cue them up to okay, between here and point A and point B, they need to get into this second event or this third event, or that you can look at it as you know little encounters and things that the, the table would need to deal with and overcome as they progress through that adventure. Okay, so that is. That is our book here that I wanted to go over. Drift Crashers Adventure Path, The Perfect Storm by Jessica Redekop. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Uh, Jessica, amazing work here. This is um, this is, this is going to be an awesome one, and I think there's going to be a lot of other people out there that are really, really going to like this particular Starfinder Adventure Path series. So with that, if you enjoy the content on the channel that covers the RPG uh, content. Uh, I would appreciate a like on the video that helps with the videos. And if you do want to subscribe, uh, that would be appreciated. It'd be great as well. You could join the team. Um, other than that, keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review. We'll see you next time.